What's going on everyone? Hunter and Sherb from Misfit here today talking to you about the single arm dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Uh, relatively simple movement and that we're just getting a heavy implement from the shoulder to overhead, but there's a couple ways that we can make this easier, especially since when we see this movement, it's usually with a heavier dumbbell in smaller reps and it's really important that we're stable and we're not failing reps because that failing a rep is just energy wasted. So the first thing is with the foot position. So Sherb's not even gonna grab the dumbbell yet, but keep in mind, usually when we're cycling, cycling just about any shoulder to overhead movement, we want that wider base. That allows him to sit straight down vertically and push his knees out, and then also just creates a little bit more stability because his base is wider. So he's gonna keep that base throughout this, uh, throughout this video, but the focus today is actually gonna be on the hand position. And what we're looking for with the dumbbell shoulder to overhead is kind of three points of contact if it's possible. Obviously everybody's kind of arm, limb, uh, limb length is gonna vary a little bit, but we want to try to create three points of contact. And what that looks like is Sherbs gets his dumbbell on his shoulder, one, He's got his hand, you'll notice his hand is just about as far close to the, the, the head of the dumbbell that's on his shoulder as possible. Now the three points of contact I'm talking about is one, the flat head of the dumbbell is on his shoulder, so that's one. Two, the hand obviously is around the handle, and three, the other head of the dumbbell is kind of supported by his wrist bone here. So those three points of contact create a more stable base for him to support the dumbbell, and you'll also notice that his elbow's out kind of wide, almost like a front squat, when we want that big, that big wide shape to create stability up in the upper back. Boom, it's the exact same thing here because in this position, he's actually got his lat working for him to stabilize that dumbbell. Take a break. <laughs> Sorry, I have to make him do 30 reps here. <laughs> okay, so we've got the, those three points of contact, the elbows out nice and wide to create the stability. And you, like, like I said, you're actually gonna feel your lat doing some of the work for you. So Sherb's gonna get that thing up on his shoulder and he's gonna try over five reps to really maintain those three points of contact and nice wide base. Good. Those last two, cycling those pretty quickly, great. Awesome. And because he maintained those three points of contact, he doesn't have to worry about his elbow being way in here and kind of wobbling when he catches it. He's got that really stable base that allows him to dip and drive vertically, receive the dumbbell in a solid position, just like we would want with any barbell movement. So keep in mind, heavy single arm dumbbell shoulder to overhead. We want that wide base for stability. And then we want those three points of contact. Head of the dumbbell on the shoulder, We've got the hand around the handle, and then that other end of the dumbbell kind of being supported by the wrist with a nice wide elbow to provide stability and get that lat and upper back involved. Give it a shot, we'll see you next time. 